Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. I'm the Sherpster. And we're finally back with more Yakuza 3. We're in Chapter 9, The Plot, and it's time to meet with Tamiya at the National Diet Building. Um, I need to go see Date-san. I feel like I might do that little uh, side quest that's right near Serena. Fair uh, enough. We'll see what we feel like when we get there. Please bear with me, it's been how many days? Ten days or something? Maybe even longer since I last played. Because um, we've been blitzing Final Fantasy VII. I was going to say, it's going to feel really weird being in the spectator's oh. chair. <laughs> yeah. Wrong street. So let's go this way. wonder if we're going to run into anyone. Probably him. No? Okay. They'll come and get you here, probably. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, here's your warm-up. Yeah. Do you remember how to do this? Vaguely. So I think in the last episode, uh, we tried to do the bikini bar revelation, and we were like, why is it not possible to do it? Mm -hmm. um, apparently certain things can only be done at night time. Ah, and this, that was a night time one, is it? Well, it makes sense, because you have to go and like beat up a load of drunks, basically. Um, and the way you change some... Ooh, the way you change the night time is by going to Serena. Ah. Uh, I don't think I'll worry about that now, because it's been ages, I just want to get into some story and remind myself what's going on. Yeah, good idea. So, Tamiya has asked to uh, meet us at the diet building. Um, Dato San's going to come with us. Whoa! Oh, fuck. Close. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> He's having He's a shit. Dead. <laughs> you picked up something. Nice. <laughs> so I wonder what Tamiya wants with us. Uh, is he friend or foe? Right, there's Date. There's a load of people. Right, so there is a side quest at Stardust. Do we do it? What do you think? Might as well if you want to ease yourself we, back we in. We are there, I suppose. What does he now do yeah. side quests the whole episode again? All right, Kazuki Sam, but I do hope you consider a second club. It's not going to happen. My mind is made up on this. No need to be so stubborn. I'll be back later. Okay, then. What's going on? Not much. Who is he? Has one of the families been paying you a visit? No, that was Kyugoku-san. He's a businessman in charge of all kinds of host and hostess venues. Lately, he's been trying to get us to open up another branch of Stardust. Okay. Yeah. The Stardust name has really taken off, so he wants us to expand to another region. Yokohama. Ooh. So Hamazaki mm. had links to Yokohama. He thinks it would be a good way to avoid the tight competition in Tokyo and plant some new roots. His group doesn't have a club with any star power in Yokohama. That's why he's offering me capital to really promote the Stardust name there. Okay. But I have absolutely no desire for a second club. What I have here is more than enough. Fair enough. Is that just a coincidence that it's Yokohama then? What do we think? Hello? Oh. Hey Kiri-san, did you want to talk to Kazuki about something? Actually, just dropped in to say hello. Got some important business to deal with right now. I think we could chat another time. Okay. Um, this guy's saying you have to open up a second club as well. Hmm. Okay. Oh, so two people are talking to... So he's trying to get Yuya to open the club in Yokohama. Hmm. But I'm the manager here. What would happen to this club without me? <laughs> I'm sure Kazuki-san can handle it. Mm. I'm telling you, man, you've got to break away from Kazuki-san and be your own man. Don't you think it's time by now? That's enough. You might not know, since you haven't been here long, but what Kazuki-san says is what goes. And he says we're not opening a second club, so that's the end of this. Okay. Why do I get the feeling he's going to try and sign them up to opening a second club or something? Mm. Uh, 
We've got enough to worry about just trying to keep this place on top. Anyway, please make yourself at home. Right, that's strange. Okay, then. Uh, is there anything up here? No. Okay, maybe that developed later on then. What's this guy got to say? We're getting everything set up right now. Okay, okay fine. Then. Maybe something will happen when I leave. Mm. Or not. Maybe not. Maybe it'll trigger later on. Later on, Now that yep. you've just done that. Okay, let's talk to Data then. You ready to get moving? Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. There you go. To the Millennium Tower. Why is There's everyone that... determined to run into my path? And why does a massive crowd of people always appear at the end of a street? <laughs> I know. There's a lady there. Regular news viewer. You know that car parked in front of the Millennium Tower? I think it belongs to Defence Minister Tamia. Yes, it does. <laughs> it is. Because <laughs> we're going there now. We are indeed. And there it is, sat in front of the uh, Millennium Ooh. Tower by the looks of it. There's a guy over here. Oh, yep. not, not that guy. I didn't mean you. Oh well. That's how ready for a fight. Oh, it's got a bike. It's been a while. There we go. Oh! Keep forgetting there's buttons afterwards. Come on! <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I love how you can do that. Like, Get up so I can pummel you some more. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's looking at glasses. glasses. Sorry about that. I just wanted a little spending cash. I know I was being an ass. Take this and we'll call it even. A whiskey soaked 5,000 yen. Okay. <laughs> I was actually wanting to talk to him. Should. Oh, there's another guy over there too. Yeah, that's the guy for Tamir, I think. Who are you? Oh. Political pundit. Defence Minister Tammy used to be a police officer, you know. They say he's got ties to Interpol. And his position gets him all the insider info on foreign affairs. Interesting. Something tells me he, the reason he's pushing so hard for the military expansion bill is because he knows there's trouble brewing. I bet somebody's going to attack us. This is about way more than just blindly following the US's orders. He's a bigger man than that. I know he is. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's go and talk to his driver. Mm. Ah, you must be Kazuma Kiryu-sama. Yeah, and you're Tamiya's driver, right? Actually, his secretary. You can call me Higaki. And you, you're from the media? Yes? Yep, name's Date. Used to hang my hat with the force, though. That's how I know Kiryu. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid I can't allow a reporter to... Now hold your horses. What we have here is a prominent government official arranging a private meeting with the ex-chairman of a major crime syndicate. If you don't let me come, I'll have to write an article based on that info alone, and who knows what kind of conclusions I could draw <laughs> from that. But, sorry, but I think it's for the best if you let Date Sam come with us. We promise he won't write anything he is today. Write about anything he is today. Right, Date Sam? Yeah, sure. Very well then, please get in the car when you're ready. Let's do it. Alright, let's go. This is where I wish I'd saved, but never mind. Ah, oh, you'd be fine. Well, that was very quick. Mm. Hmm. Nice big building to run around and take out people in. <laughs> nice to meet you. Why, thanks. I'm a member of the Suzuki's <laughs> Suzuki and the Suzuki. That's the famous member of the Suzuki's Suzuki. 
Oh, he's famous, is he? Feeling very tense right now. Mm -hmm. Is that a thing where you just sort of like have a bottle of like something alcoholic there? それが原因で道島大吾も土地買収の話を断ったそうじゃないか。何が言いたい。お前とこの民は流造。互いに利害が一致してるってことだ。あれどういうことだ。I've What should I ask about everything? Uh, Start the top and go down. I want to know who shot Daigo. You'll probably be able to do them all. I know, but you? I want to know that first. Just in case I don't get a choice. So that's。あの風間に似てるって男の子とか。数字も目的もさっぱりだからな。ああ。待て、風間だと。そいつが道島大吾を撃ったのか何か知っているのかうん俺の知っている風間とお前らの知ってるその男がどういつ人物ならの話だが教えてくれあんたの知っている風間ってのは一体誰なんだ風間ジョージお前のいた登場会の元
That was a longer answer than I was expecting. Hmm. Okay, so we worked out that he had a brother. Um, an ex-cop and an active CIA agent. Um, CIA agent. Apparently Tammy and Kazma-san's brother Joji are working together on some kind of plan. What is this plan exactly? I need more information. Um, the purpose of the bill. あんたの沖縄米軍基地拡大の本当の狙いってのは何なの? オレガオイカケテイルノワ通称ブラックマンデーと呼ばれる組織。ブラックマンデー。それってあの伝説の武器密輸組織。ああ、they ブラックマンデー。俺はその正体を知るために設計図だけでも He's thinking they'd want to stop that from happening. Mm-hmm.日米共同開発のBMDは世界の防衛バランスを変えるほどの白物なんだ。と一応世界的にはそういうことになっている。一応だ。So like the military plan doesn't really.そういった風評があることが重要だったんだ。there is no plan. <笑>世界最新の兵器開発それを欲しがる奴らが動き出すってことだまさかその欲しがってる奴らがまさかその欲しがってる奴らがその通り世界中に武器を売りつける武器密輸組織ってのは常に最先端の技術を欲している<笑
This is the favour, maybe? Guessing so. Has he got himself in a bit of a sticky situation? I'm going to guess the answer is yes. Yeah. And to answer your earlier question, BMD, I'm not sure if they mentioned it or not. Okay. I missed it. If but maybe did. Black Monday something or other. Completely missed it if they defined it. <laughs> um, okay, so they're working together to bring down Black Monday. So why did Kazuma San's brother shoot Daigo? Oh, okay. CIA or <laughs> the favour. Let's ask about the favour. あんたの頼みたいことってのは何なんだ。二人の男を作ってやってほしい。誰なんだ、そいつらは。一人は俺の秘書だった男、トーマ。秘書だったって何で過去形なんだ。トーマは二週間前勝手に俺の秘書を
Okay, so... Oh, great. That was the CIA rather than the Black Monday people. Mm -hmm. Shit, the CIA shot. Oh, Jesus. お前らに話してもわかるまいが。今から so he feels he owes something to me now. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow, that was a lot of uh Well there's still me now to ask about. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sorry guys, this is gonna be a long episode of plot dumpage. So the CIA needed the military expansion bill to stay afloat so they could lure Black Monday out into the open. And it was under CIA orders that Joji shot Daigo for refusing to take my land. Guess the CIA is almost like a second family to him now after what happened during his time on the force. That explains why he's so loyal to the US government. Mine. Mine, the last thing. Toma ga kichi kakudai hoan wo tsuka saseru tami ni resort kaihatsu no tochibai shu wo tanonda saki ga ano mine da to yu no ka. So da. Sono hanashi wa okashi na. Shinda kashiwagi no hanashi ni yoreba リゾート開発の土地買収を進めていたのは鈴木と風間それに風間と繋がってる東場会の組織ってことになるはずだうんだが事実はそうではない。これ基地拡大法案を進めるためだ。リゾート予定地の買収が進まなければ、同時に基地拡大法案も止まってしまう。そうなれば、ブラックマンデーの尻尾が掴めない。だから強引な手段で土地の権利書を中原という男から奪い、土
俺を登場会の道島に引き合わせ丸く収めさせただがあいつは初めから基地拡大のことはどうでもよくてリゾート開発計画のことしか頭になかったからじゃあトーマは道島大吾とあんたを引き合わせた時に登場会の連中ミネとも知り合ったというのは So he thinks m i n a is gonna help him. So he thinks Mina 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 is gonna help him. So he thinks Waiting for the opportunity to strike, though. Mine to you, Otoa, you are Garan. Conkai no Ichiren no Sodo de Tojo Kai no Jitsu no Topu ano to Kono Hazda. Damati wa Yori Ueno Posto my Yaksok Sarete Irnoni. Nani o Kangai de Irnoga. Okay, so Kazuma san's brother and the CIA were promoting the bill, the military bill, to destroy Black Monday, while Toma and Mine were throwing their weight behind the resort. I think I'm finally starting to see the whole picture here. Yes, we've had it very thoroughly discussed. Mm-hmm. We get it. Yatsu wa shiri sugitan da. Kono hoan no ura ni CIA ga kanyo shite iru koto mo. So shite... ホワンがフェイクだということもだできればあの二人を助けてやりたいんだああでもトーマはあんたの計画を邪魔した男だろうどうして今になって庇うようなこと強い信念を持った人間はいずれ大きな志を抱くそしてそれを実現する俺の
He knows about that, doesn't chairman, he? Yeah. Yeah. I'm resigning on the same day. <laughs> ah. Okay, time to do some fighting. Yep. This is going to be crazy. これ。すげえ数だぜ。だってさ、ここは俺が持ってる。あんた裏口から出て行ってくれ。なんだと？あんたは記者だ。名刺を見せれば裏から出られるはずだ。だがそれじゃ、もし俺が捕まったら、マジ
<laughs> Mad dog's back. <laughs> Is that his personal truck? <laughs> no idea. I really but... hope so. <laughs> they did pretty well not to hit anybody there by the looks of it. Ooh, save data. Ooh, new chapter. Ooh, right, let's watch the opening bit for this. Chapter 10. Unfinished business. Is this where we start to feel sorry for Mine? そうだったのか。帰りが遅いから心配したんだぞ。それより、おじさん聞いてよ。今日のテスト、俺一番だったんだよ。そうか。みんな、僕もまぜてよ。おめえ、バットもグローブも持ってねえじゃねえかよ。
If I'm going to be settling a fight in Okinawa, I want to do it with Okinawa natives by my side. Oh, and you're sure about that? 100%. Suppose that's that then. So what, you're just giving up, Majima? Kiryu Chan's <laughs> a big stubborn ox. No changing his mind when he's like this, status san You should know better than anyone. Even so, I... Kiryu Chan! The Majima family will keep the lights on over at Tojo HQ while you're gone. Gotta do what you gotta do, he's got yeah? His, he's got his weird grin on again. <laughs> Thank you, Majima-san. I must admit, it's a bit weird not having Majima just wanted to have a bloody fist fight with you all the time. It is. Right, so is it here that I changed to night time? Uh, no. Oh. Haruka's done, trust level, F. I've only done, <laughs> like, 9% of completion. Wow. Um, is there anything in my item box? Weapons. Let's just have a quick look. No, that's all like. Oh, I could get that back. It's broken though. You know what? Let's leave it. Um. Okay, where do I change to night time, guys? I, I was under the illusion it was in here somewhere. Be careful down there, Kiri, for a small line, and there are sure going to be a lot of people there who want to mess you up. Stay safe. Okay. You ever need a hand or hundred from the Majima family? Just give me a ring. Okay. Okay, well, we will leave it there for this episode. Um, let me know how I change to night time. Because um, I'm under the impression that certain things can only be done at night time, like certain revelations. So it'd be good to know. Um, i got to keep my promise to Tami and help Toma in Okinawa. First, I'll get a cab to the airport. We'll do that in the next episode. Till then, bye. See ya.